is Monday, February 27th of 2023. And let's talk through the one trade we did today. Today we added to our Tyson Chicken TSN March 17th $60 cash secured put option position by selling one additional option contract, put option contract. So first, let's look at this daily chart. Now, today was a pretty decent down day. It made a lower low and a lower high on this daily chart today. But still the same $59.38 area is holding us support. So that's why we continue to add to this position. In our volume section in the daily chart, we see that there's been nice buying pressure over the past week. However, Tyson did go up to the green 50 exponential moving average as you see here. And that did serve as resistance for it, which it did that several weeks ago, actually a month or so ago as well. So something we want to keep an eye on. But for now, Tyson has been holding support around the $60 area for quite a while. So we expect it to continue to hold a support. However, anything is possible. Our volume was higher on these two recent up days. And we see that it's now below the average. The white line is the 50 bar average on this daily chart for volume. So see it is trading below that average on these down days. So we'll have to see how the next few weeks plays out. Now looking over at our right weekly chart, we see the same thing. Although we do see that all the selling pressure over the past month or month and a half. But again, it's holding at the support that it found back in the end of December. The one thing I don't really like is that on this on the hourly or 60 minute chart, it is trading below both moving averages. It tried to push through the 200 moving average on this hourly or 60 minute chart. Let's see, that was last week, mid last week, and it just couldn't do it. It didn't hold. So it is finding resistance. So it'll be interesting to see what happens as it comes down. If again, this serves as support for it or if it pushes through it. And if it does push through it, then we could be heading lower as I mentioned last week in a couple of videos we could be going as low as around 56 or so that'd be the next major area of support and it is a pretty large area of support that dates back all the way to early 2020 through the through that whole year of 2020. so that was our one trade for today and we'll of course look for more trades tomorrow as well as some opportunities to begin closing out some positions here that expire and right under three weeks the third friday of march